Hello guys and welcome back on my channel. In the previous video we had discussed about how we can connect our front end with the database and how we can insert data in our database. If you haven't checked that video, so kindly check that video. I will uh, insert the link, uh, link on the pop up. So in this video I will show you how we can retrieve data from the database and show it on our website. So before starting our video, if you haven't uh, uh, checked my website and if you want to see the source code regarding my videos, so you can check those uh, uh, codes and blogs regarding the videos on my website. The link will be in the description. So kindly uh, check that website. So let's move towards our video. So open your text editor. In my case, it is Sublime. So this is the previous code for uh, uh, inserting data in our database. So I will make a new file instead of editing this file. So let's make a new file and save it in uh, the same folder I, ha I had told you last time. So I hope you will remember that. So I will name this uh, file as uh, retrieve.php. So in this uh, file what we are going to do, we are going to retrieve the data I had inserted last time. You can see that I had uh, uh, shown you how we can insert data and uh, how we can connect uh, our project with the database in the last video. Okay. So before doing anything, let me check that uh, our file is well connected. So let me just select the syntax. I have to turn on the local server first. Okay, so let me just start my local server. Okay, then uh, I have to write the address which is uh, localhost 8080, then slash example, then slash 3.php. So yeah, you can see that our page is well connected. You can see by the title over on the top. So now let's just start coding. So what I am going to do in this video is that I will retrieve the data from the database and show it in HTML as a table. Okay, so I will retrieve whole data in a table. So let's just continue. So this is the starting tag of PHP and this is the ending tag. So for retrieving data I have to write a query. So I will, uh, first of all I will write the query, I will find a variable in which I will write the query. So the query goes like select Okay, before writing the query I have to uh, include the database file. So I have to select the syntax view over here which php so it I'll add the syntax that me just do now you can see that it is highlighting the php text so I will uh, write our connection dot php so it, this is the file for connecting uh, with the database I had uh, write this file in the last video you can check that video so select select static because we want to select everything from the database from then the name of table which is uh, in our case it is user so this is the query for selection so in the next step we will run this query by the same uh, uh, function we used in the last video so it is my sql i query ok 
okay then we will give it the variable link and then the query okay so i will store this uh, uh, whole uh, command in a variable what uh, this will do this will store the result of uh, this query in a variable okay so then we will uh, retrieve data by using that variable row by row and then show it in our html so i will name the variable result so as it, it is going to store the result okay so what this will do the, when this query will run it will store the data or the result of this query in this variable okay then we will by using this variable we will retrieve data row by row by row and then we will show it in the front end okay or in the html so i as i want to show data in a table so i will make a table okay so there will be two rows this is the name and the second thing was uh, i guess password okay so these are the two things we are going to show and in the second query or in the second uh, uh, row we will show our data so as we have uh, many rows to show in our uh, front end because uh, we don't know how many rows are there in our database so we will uh, use a loop okay so if you don't know how to write a loop in a, a php so you should see how i'm going to write so first of all we will uh, give the tags okay so because we are going to write php so this is the starting tag for php and then this is the ending tag in this tag uh, we be, we are going to write our loop so i will use while loop so this is my starting of while loop and uh, my end will be after the second row of table okay so what the condition i will give in the loop is so as we are going to fetch a whole array from the uh, uh, from the database so that's why we will use a built-in function which is called mysql i fetch array so write mysql i underscore fetch underscore array and uh, in the argument section we will pass the result variable be uh, defined on the top okay and uh, what i am going to do is i am going to store this whole uh, result in a uh, variable so that when we are going to retrieve the data it will be easy for us to write the, the code okay so instead of writing the whole syntax we just have to write the uh, uh, we have to just write the variable we are using here so as we are going to retrieve data row by row first row first and then the second row then the third row so i will name the variable as row okay so this is our uh, while loop so what this while loop is saying that retrieve data row by row okay from this variable and then store the data of first whole row in this variable okay and uh, after the data had been retrieved we will end our loop over here so we, we are, have to give php tags again so this is my ending of loop okay so this is the starting and then this is the ending okay so now what we are going to do we are going to show data in uh, our table so we have to write again php tags as we are going to retrieve data okay so we have to do it in php so we have to write the php tags again so this is the closing tag and then this is the ending tag and over here what we are going to do we are going to echo our result okay so we will use echo 
and then the variable we have defined on the top on the top which is row and then we will uh, write the column which we want to show okay so in my case the first column is name so i will write name okay so or in the second part again we have to do the same thing we just have to change the name of uh, the column okay okay so the second case we have the name of password so i hope i i am naming those columns well so this is the old code for retrieving data so you can retrieve any data in a table or in a form just like this and if you want to see any advanced uh, thing on how we can retrieve data on your forms or in a in a good looking table okay so you can check my video of uh, project okay so i will also link the video on the top okay so check that video it is a complete project okay and it has everything so you can see check the basics over here and you can make a complete project from that video so now let me just refresh our page so now you can see that our data has been retrieved okay so we had uh, uh, enter two uh, uh, values in our database in the last insert uh, insert uh, uh, part video okay so first was munif and the second was ari okay and you can see that we had we are exactly retrieving the same data okay so let me just give a border of so you can see so now you can see that our name and password has been retrieved successfully so this is all for this video if you have any question regarding this video or any uh, you want any specific topic then do comment i will make a video on that so this is all for this video thank you